All right, welcome to episode 31, and it is time for the big one. The next mission we are about to do, which is the Purple Comet on Toy Time Galaxy, is widely regarded as the hardest star in the game. Let's do it. This mission will be an epic battle. Let's see. Purple Comet in orbit. Let's conquer this mission called Luigi's Purple Coins. Widely regarded as the most difficult mission in the game. There is a time limit, but that's not why it's hard. You must complete the mission successfully as quickly as possible. Okay, let's do it. In one shot. Shifting the camera angle around to make your jumps perfectly lined up will be a must do for this episode. If, for this episode, for this level. Make it easy. Collecting those long lines of star bits is also a must do for this level. It's okay if you miss them. There are 150 purple coins allowed. There are paths to collect all 150. I will not. Recommend that because it is insanely difficult. You're gonna want to go on a pattern like this, and make your mission extremely easier. If you try to go on way. Usually, I avoid that purple point because it's way more trouble to get it to work. I got it because I forgot to. So, yeah, I recommend you avoid that. For this one, it's no big deal. Get it and move on. There are more than enough points. Also, very important as you saw in the beginning, make sure you leave a path back to the star. Because or else you will die. And you try and get the star. And there's nothing worse than having all the points collected perfectly and then being unable to capitalize because you didn't leave a path to get back to the star. Oh, make sure you do not collect your hundreds of purple points while in the air. Like that is okay, because you have a platform beneath you that hasn't started to disappear yet, so you'll be set to go back and collect your power star. I know it looked easy. It is regarded by many as the hardest mission in the game. I kind of agree. Not for me anymore, because I, I know all the tricks and know how to pull out all the stops on that mission. Yes, we will save the game, and this is where we start to do things a little bit differently than most people again, a little different. Back to toy time, except we're instead of going to get, instead of going to get the third star, which is what you may assume we'd be doing next, we're going to get the hidden star. Hidden star is on Mario meets Mario. It doesn't appear yet because we didn't get all three main stars, but I know it's there. Trust me, it's there. Now, once again, we will land on the starting planet. Now, what's very important is that you remember those parts of star bits. You're going to want to get all of them because you need to get 50 star bits. Now, if you wait here, not an infinite number, but star bits will continue to fall until a certain number is reached. I need one more, and if I have, if you can't get all of them, you're gonna need to at some point, like just kill Mario, go back to collect some more. I believe I can find one more star bit somehow. I do not want to have to die for the sake of one star. Let's see. Maybe this way. No, that's not it. Okay. One more try. Ah, oh, and there's your home room, as you can see it. I don't think there's gonna be any more starters falling, so. Electric shock. Electric shock. 
And electric shock. Luckily, when you die, you maintain your star bits. That's my recommended way of doing it, because it's the easiest. And you'll get an automatic one up at 50 anyway. Yeah, I don't want to get shocked anymore. You can stop now. And there's a hungry Luma, which is why I needed star bits. I told you I was done collecting for the hub anyway, but we still need to feed these hungry Lumas. 50 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. There you go, 50 star bits, and you will commit suicide and transform into our new planet. Transform. A new planet was born! Epic music! Yeah, this is fairly simple. Question mark switches need to be turned into exclamation mark switches. Do it. Don't get crushed. If you get crushed, you will die. Death is no fun. Tox boxes, tox boxes, tox boxes. You have to wait for your way. Might as well get some star bits while I'm waiting. And yes, you can jump the gap and you can climb the gap. Gravity. Perfectly gravity powered working. I don't even know what I said. It doesn't make sense to anyone. Trust me. I'd like to make a reference, you know, I know this is going to be by the time I upload this. This song everyone has forgotten about. But, um, Friday? That really crappy song? That thing is horrible. I don't know what record company decided to allow that to be produced. I think YouTube should be banned from YouTube for a stupid Like, it's that bad. Uh, they probably made a lot of money on YouTube because it's so bad that it viral. It definitely demonstrates the practical power of the internet right there. If something goes viral, like that uh, first viral video most people have ever seen is Star Wars Kid. You have to be on the internet a long time to know that. Star Wars Kid, a kid uh, wielding a golf ball retriever. Which is, uh, oh yeah, we got the star by the way. A uh, lightsaber and went around killing imaginary enemies on tape. Friends of his found the tape. This was like 2003, so they needed to use peer-to-peer -to, -peer to transfer to each other. But they did, and it went viral. And the kid sued them and won. Well, they settled that in court, but he got money for it. So we're going to go tackle our second and final Fast Folk Comet. Toy Time Galaxy, and it's going to be on the hidden star that we just collected, which is why we did it first. Fast Foe Comet in orbit. Fast Foes of Toy Time. It's a very telling title, but I know what the star's about, so it's good for me. Anyway, viral videos, peer-to-peer. -peer. Before the whole, oh my god, peer-to-peer -peer is bad, you can share copyright software in the whole... Screw you. Copyright era. Software should not be allowed to be copyrighted. Well, actually, it should be. They, people shouldn't be allowed to sell it, but honestly, the whole, oh my god, piracy is so bad thing is completely retarded. Oh god, I failed because I'm ranting about crap. I, I need to stop ranting and play the game, but... You think piracy should be illegal? I mean, you think piracy is stealing? Then you're an idiot. It's illegal for a different reason. The video game industry tries to say that every pirated copy of a game is a launch sale. That is such complete BS. It's not even funny. People who pirate things weren't going to buy it anyway. If you're going to buy it anyway, you can pirate things. Everyone knows that. The movie industry, the MPAA, is all, oh my god, I'm gonna, we're going to crack down on piracy because it's so weak. Is also completely retarded. There's no reason to do that because piracy is getting honestly a crappier quality of 
product. I'm prompting people to say, oh, I like this, so maybe I can go buy it too. That's how most people do this shit, piracy. Sure, some people only pirate stuff, but more or less, pirated games are helping you by allowing free advertising. So stop complaining about something like that. I have a friend that is completely avid against piracy. Piracy is stealing. However, statistically speaking, piracy can sometimes is more beneficial. The beneficial effects outweigh the negative effects tremendously. So, anyone that wants to tell me that piracy is stealing, check their goddamn facts. Because you're wrong. Oh my god, let's just get this power charge successfully. Don't land in the pipe if you take you back, so you can't do it. The game doesn't trust you to jump the gap. Let's get this power star before we die again, stupidly, and then we'll... Luckily, the power star will freeze the uh, platforms. That's convenient. Very convenient. You can still die if you run into the spikes, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm not going to. And stars ours. And on that note, we're going to end things off here. I'll catch you all right back here the next time.